Alberta Culture Days has come and gone. Some incredible and some edible pieces of art have found new homes thanks to the Central Alberta Refugee Efforts Immigrant Art Gallery. We have a, a beautiful showcase here um, and it's all immigrant art. So recent immigrants, summer refugees, um, and it's from all over the world, from Iraq, Afghanistan, Holland, Romania, um, Chile, El Salvador, Peru. Those attending had the opportunity to take a trip around the world while supporting local artists. This has grown actually from um, over the last four years. We started with just a couple of pieces in a, another art show. And now we realize how much talent <laughs> there is amongst our immigrants. And um, some of them were actually professional painters and artists in their own country. Often, art is used to share personal memories and tell stories. The works of art created by immigrants and refugees at this gallery is no exception. We've got small pieces and large pieces here today. Uh, the one over here, the one is, um, it's a scene from Iraq. There is actually quite a story behind it. The, the young man that painted that one, um, he was a refugee from Iraq and, and he's trying to preserve the history of Iraq as much as he can. That man is Alex Al Samurai. His story and artwork is one of a kind. I'm originally from Baghdad, Iraq, and I started doing the art since uh, I was a kid. That was the way that my mother kept me shut up. <laughs> so she gave me a paper and a pencil, and uh, just I go into my own world and, and create stuff, and uh, never stopped ever since. Most of my paintings are actually from personal experiences and uh, sometimes I get inspired by uh, whatever the issue is and whatever the uh, whatever is going on. So for example, if I'm doing a landscape from my country, it's because I would like to preserve the history um, of my country and the places that we're actually unfortunately losing during to the war going on there. Alex appreciates the opportunity to showcase his artwork to the community. It's always encouraging to uh, like, um, you know, sell some of your paintings and stuff like that. But for me, I'm not trying to make any profit or anything. I love participating in those events because it, first it gets my name out as an artist. And um, it's just a great experience to, you know, see other artists and see their art and stuff like that. And we should have more, more events like that in Red Deer. The Immigrant Art Gallery is just one of the many ways that the Central Alberta refugee effort helps immigrants and refugees not only adjust, but prosper in their new life in Canada. Uh, most of my participation came through CARE. Uh, so I think they're doing good, like uh, especially for us, like as an artist coming from a different country, uh, you find it kind of hard to, uh, you know, show your stuff to the public and show your art to the public. Uh, but through care, it's kind of encouraging. Like you, they'll give you this encouraging environment as like setting up tables and everything for you. You just put your paintings on it. For Go On Shaw TV, I'm Chloe Hoffner.